Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how you can draw objects inside of Blender. And on the way, we will create a little environment with the help of geometry nodes. So let's get started and open the newest Blender version, either with the Blender launcher or via the Blender website, www.blender.com. There you can find the newest and greatest alpha 3.5 and let's launch that and inside of here we will first of all delete everything and we can start with a plane maybe scale it up by 10 how can we now draw objects maybe some of you know that we can distribute points with geometry nodes and then can instance on those points with certain objects but how can we now draw those objects in our scene with let's say a mask for this we can create a vertex group and then can via vertex paint, we can draw that vertex group and we can input that vertex group into geometry nodes. And this way we can draw basically objects in our scene. And this is very handy if you want to create nature and only want to have certain objects on certain locations. So at first let's create, let's create fast an environment. For this, we will go into the geometry nodes editor to create some small hills here. For this, we want to change the position of our plane. So we grab with shift A, we can go into the add menu and here under the geometry sub menu, we have the set position node. With this node, we can change the position of our vertices or faces or whatever on our plane. And this way we can displace something. But for this to work, we need to subdivide our plane. We can find this in the mesh submenu a bunch of times. And then we can grab a noise texture and we can plug it into the offset. But as you can see, it's not quite working. And even if we scale it down, that's looking a little bit weird. And this is because we're displacing in every single axis. We don't want this, we only want to have it displacing in the Z axis. And for this, we can grab a combine XYZ node. You can just search it. And we only want to have it in the Z axis like this. And then you can grab a color ramp to define a little bit better the contrast, set it to ease so it's a little bit smoother. And this way you can define the contrast of our noise texture and I want to have the scale a little bit down. Maybe like this, that should be fine. And we can drag up our height a little bit like this. So we have our environment done. Maybe one thing we want to have smooth shading. There's also a node in geometry nodes. It is in the mesh sub menu, the set shade smooth node. This, everything is smooth shaded. Now we have the hills now we want the water so we grab a plane scale it up 10 times and i will raise it a little bit and now we have the coastline here and now we want to have some materials so we go to cycles set it to gpu if you have a nice graphics card that can handle it first of all we need to have an environment for this i want to have a sky texture so just click on the yellow dot and grab a sky. Where is it? Sky texture like this. And I want to drag the ozone up and the sun elevation a little bit down. This should be fine. Maybe set the sun size to something like three. So it's a little bit smoother. And now we want to have materials and there we can just use pre-made materials of mine that are in my material pack. You can check that out, it is on Gumroad. There's also a free version of it. There are also nice, great things that you can just drag in and they work. So we can just go into the asset browser and we can use my material pack. And here we have the ground materials and I want to use the forest ground on here. And on the glass and liquid, I want to use the quick water big on here. We can also scale the water a bit down. I made also these nice node groups here. 
maybe about 1.5 or something like 3 and also the bump strength a little bit down yeah this should work now the sky texture is a little bit weird maybe something like this and this should work but how can we now paint in our trees we sadly have to apply our geometry nodes editor but that's not that tragic so just apply it now you can't change your environment anymore but now when we paint something it's on the right location and to now paint objects in our scene we want to go into the geometry nodes editor and create a new node tree and here we want to create points all over the mesh and then instance our objects on them and then we want to specify on which regions we want to have those points distributed which means only the the regions we paint but at first let's distribute points in the point submenu distribute points on faces and drag it in here and now we can see we can create a lot of points but our mesh is gone so we have to join it back in now we want to instance on our points so go to instances and instance on points and we want to instance some objects but at first let's mute this node so we can see our points and we want to now paint the regions where our points should be and for this we will be using our vertex group so let's go here into the object data properties and here we want to create a new vertex group called maybe apple just as an example you can call it whatever you want on this vertex group we now want to vertex to weight paint i want to, to instance trees so i will paint them here on the coastline something like this and this should be our mask you can draw whatever you want and then we can go back into object mode and now we want to have this mask to control the density of our points how can we do this we have to somehow import it and that's very easy you just have to drag from this gray dot to the density and geometry nodes automatically puts in an option in the modifier properties here are the density you can drag it manually but you can also but you can also grab an attribute that fills in your value automatically so we can drag so we can click on this little spreadsheet icon here and now we can define an attribute we want to have of course our apple vertex group we can click that and you can see <laughs> one point is appearing and <laughs> it's not much but this is because our vertex group only goes from zero to one and our density should be at least in the hundreds so we have to multiply our mask with a math node just search it and multiply and here we can define how much of a density we want to have mask and now you can see we can basically already paint our objects right now these are only these are only points we want to have now real objects and for this we want to have real trees for this we have a nice model on the internet made by mantessa xyz the link is in the description you can he made really nice the link for his website is in my description he made really nice tree models that we can free download and use for this you can click on the home page here at the bottom and here you can download a bunch of his stuff but we want to have this cg generic tree pack then you can download it and then we can import it into blender for this we can click on file and then on import and the trees should be fbx file so click that and then you have to search for the file where you saved your trees but before that you of course have to unpack then you can choose between 10 different trees i just take the one and then it should import a while because those are really big models that we have to decimate a little bit down so 
our viewport is not that laggy. So just wait a little bit. So now our tree got imported. Yet let's view it only. And I don't want to have this much of vertices. I want to have it decimated down. For this we want to have a modifier, decimate modifier. And we want to have it at a ratio like 0.2. So our tree is more performant. This should calculate a while because it has to decimate all of the vertices. But now you can see it's decimated and we can apply our modifier. But then you can see in rendered mode our model has no textures. So we quickly have to import them. We don't need the roots because they're under the ground. So we take the trunk and we go into the shading. And just for quick purposes, I just want to drag the albedo down. For this, we have to go to the file where our trees were. If you downloaded more packs from Mentissa, I will grab the textures from the other trees, maybe for the birch, because this, because this file, I believe, has no textures in it. So I will go to another pack of his and I want to drag all these textures in. So on the trunk, we use this bark texture here. Just drag and drop it in and like this. And for the branches, we also want those textures. And I think, I think we don't need more. For the first leaf, we do the same thing. Of course, we can, we can play more with the textures, but for the tutorial's sake, I don't want to go more into textures because the focus is on geometry nodes and how to draw our objects. So now we have perfectly texturized our tree and now we can go back. We can drag this tree under our surface so we can see it. And now we want to replace our points with the tree. For this, we can go back into the geometry nodes editor and we can unmute our instances on points node because now we can instance on our points this tree. For this, we can drag and drop our object, so our tree, into geometry nodes and we can set it, it is already on our original and we can plug the geometry into the instance. And now you can see it's quite big. <laughs> if you want to have it that big, no problem, but I don't want to have it that big. So I'll take the scale way down, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. It's still too big, 0 0.0005. This is something we can work with. And now you can see we have nice trees, but you can also see they're all looking quite the same and you can see here a little bit of pattern. And so we have to randomize our trees a little bit. We can first of all use a randomized scale for this, we can go into the utilities menu and go into the random value and we can duplicate our number here, duplicate it in here. And for the min, I want to have a zero. This is not really realistic. So I'll take a zero, zero, two, maybe, maybe something like this should work. And we also want to have a randomized rotation. And for this, we have to split our vectors. So we grab a combine X, Y, Z. And we want to have a random value for the Z axis. And you can drag the max value as much as you want. And now we have randomized our trees. And if we now go into rendered mode, we should see a really nice forest and we can also go back into the white paint and we can draw for instance more trees in here just like that and yes this is how you draw objects inside of geometry nodes i think this is all that you have to know yes this should be it for this tutorial thank you all for watching if you want to support me or if you want to go to my store 
Um, there I have my material pack as said, there's also a free version of it. You can download it for free and you can play around with it. We have used it here in this tutorial and I have also a discord server if you want to join. We are currently a little bit empty right now, but thank you all for watching. Hopefully see you again. Bye.